We met um, some of the guys from Pixar when we were up in Northern California. We went into the offices and they showed us around and plied us with coffee and sandwiches and showed us all the secret rooms that are in that building, which was amazing. And then um, we met Tom McDougall and John Lasseter and, and some of the team who were working on Brave at the time. And um, we've always been a fan of Pixar's, um, fans of Pixar. And, uh, and yeah, we kind of felt like they'd never made a bad film. And uh, we would love to be involved musically. It's quite fun doing a song for a movie rather than for an album because um, we haven't actually, we've done it once before where we recorded a song specifically for a movie. Um, it's quite fun being able to sort of stretch our cinematic legs a little bit, like try and get um, a more cinematic sound and not be restricted just to the four of us because obviously Buddy's involved and then there are <coughs> other musicians around who are available to be involved as well. So um, it feels less uh, restricted. We're quite restrictive on ourselves when we're in the studio, I try to keep it just to the four of us and a um, couple of other musicians. But the idea of perhaps having an orchestra in the background or whatever, having a girl like Birdie sing it, has really um, been quite liberating for us, I think, as a band and not something we've done before. Well, we sort of um, came to her with the song. Um, that was one of ours and asked her to sing it and it was pretty straightforward. I mean, she's she's amazing. She just kind of did what she does and, and sang with her heart and soul and that's all we ever try and do. I think she sung it much better than we would ever have been able to sing it. Um, and yeah, we just we just started with the, with the instruments and we played it around in a room a few times and then um, she kind of took over and just started singing and um, took the song to the place where we felt it needed to go.